Hey guys, this is Peter, and a lot of you have asked me, how do you put a VPN on a Fire Stick? Well, I found one It works with the new Fire Stick, and that's IP Vanish. It's also a VPN that I really like. I use it on just about everything. Um, I have a whole bunch of videos on that. So, without further ado, just really quickly, I'm going to show you how to download this APK. This is the only VPN I know that gives you the APK, because um, it's not on the Fire Store. So, you're going to need this APK in order to install it onto... An NVIDIA Shield or onto a Fire Stick. Today we're going to do the new Fire Stick and uh, let's get started. Hey guys, this is Peter and today I want to show you the easiest way to install IP Vanish onto your Fire Stick. So here we are on the Fire Stick. Let's see how fast I can make this. How complete yet fast. Alright, so first thing you want to do is go to settings. We're going to go to, um, let's see, device. Under developer options, we want to make sure that both ADB debugging and allow installation from unknown sources, sources is on. You probably already have this on if you've already installed Kodi. If not, stop and go back to that step first. But you could always just do those. <laughs> so the next thing we want to do is, you've probably heard of this program you can download from the store. It's called ES File Explorer. If you don't have it, go to the store and you can download it. The store is right up here. You can just go to Apps and, well, search for it. You can just say Application ES File Explorer. It helps if you sound like a robot. <laughs> There we go. And you would just install it. But I've already installed that, so let's go cut right to the chase. You can see this nice white screen. <laughs> and then uh, then it comes in. All right, so what we're going to do, oops, just hit the backspace to get rid of the ads. Go all the way to the bottom. So you can slide over at the, whoops, over at the side. Sometimes it takes a little doing. But there I am, highlighting the word thumbnails. And I'm going to slide over to where it says new. It's kind of hard to see. It's cut off on the screen. The calibration isn't that great on, on this. <laughs> so we're going to give it a web address. And I went ahead and shortened it for you. It's a legit address. HTT. You'll see. Yeah, never trust anybody. <laughs> but you'll see where I'm going. It's to their website. Uh, so let's see. Colon. Don't forget the S, HTTPS colon slash slash. And then this is a Google shortened word. So we're going to go to, if you haven't seen Google shortener, it's worth the price of admission. So go take a look at it. It takes all sorts of long URL names and condenses them. And then they have a, G, uh, a lookup on Google. Dot GL. And here we go. Here's where it gets tricky. Or not tricky. This is so much easier than doing it the other way. Switch to capitals, because this isn't capitals. Z, D, S, all in capitals. Z, D, S, little g. So we have to change this. Little g. Two. And then a big g. Now, that seemed kind of painful, but it saved you so many steps. All right, go highlight it. It's really hard to see what you're highlighting. I'm highlighting the word cancel, and now I'm highlighting the word OK. Now, this program takes me out to a website, hopefully. There it is. It's IP Vanish's website, and I already took it to the right page. So just hit the down button at the bottom of the circle, and you can see I've highlighted the their uh, logo. I keep going down. I've highlighted the overview window and there now I've highlighted the word that says or the logo that says Android app on Google Play so I'm going to hit the right button and now it's highlighting it's hard to see because it's the same color direct APK download so I'm going to click that give it a good solid click and it didn't do anything that's okay we're going to go over to I'm hitting the left arrow uh, once Left arrow twice, left arrow three times. Okay, now I'm over in the left-hand column. You can probably see my cursor. I go down to the bottom, and then I scoot over the side. So I'm going along the bottom now. 
and I've highlighted zoom, zoom in, zoom out, and now I'm going all the way to the corner where it has those three dots. Click on those three dots for me. And now we can say, highlight the words that say open in bro. It's short for open in browser, but when we do, it starts downloading that program. Look at that. So now we're going to say it's a highlight open in folder and we want open in file. So move it over and click open file. Now we have the option to install it. Cancel, mark it, and install. So I force it all the way over to the right hand side and click install. And now it's telling me it wants to install it. I go down to the bottom, click, click, two clicks down, one click over, and I'm going to highlight the word install. And now it's installing it. Yeah, that seemed pretty easy. All right, app is installed, and I can actually open it now. And now it wants my credentials. I know my credentials. I'm going to type them in. It takes, uh, you know, I, with the keyboard, it takes a while, but we've all seen that. So I'm going to skip that because it does work, and this is not going to be your hang-up point. So I'm going to skip out of here and show you how to find the app and move it to a desired location. So you can't put it in recents, <laughs> not yet. You have to actually run it. Let's go to your apps games. Go all the way over to the edge to see all. There's a shortcut here. Instead of going all the way down, hit the left arrow and it brings you to the bottom. So what we want to do is we want to move this one so you can hit the option button or the hamburger button and say move to front. There we go. Now we can click out of this and our, there it is. It's right in front. And when we run it from here, a nice thing happens because now we've really run it and it's in our, our favorites area now in the most recent. There it is. IP Vanish. Now the way that I like to install IP Vanish, if you will allow me to, I'm going to do mine. There we go. I'm going to skip the tutorial because I've done this before. And now I'm going to hit the hamburger button up at the top. Go here to settings. And here we can say start IP vanish when Android starts up. That's correct. Uh, connect to last server is probably the best. And then all the way up the top connection we can say auto reconnect make sure that's checked now we're good to go now IP vanish is all set up and every time you start up it will automatically run it's important to check that and make sure that it runs the first couple times to make sure that you are protected all you need to do to do that is to run it again let me back out of this and you can see that you're protected so here we go Let's do that. I'm going to go up to the settings. I'm going to go back to quick to connect. You got to give it a second. Nope, not yet. There it is. Quick connect. Now I can see that I'm disconnected. I'm click clicking connect. It's asking to install another piece. Let's let it do it. There, I'm connected. And my IP address did not change, but that's okay, because if you run it again, it refreshes it, and there, you can see it's changed. And there's no problem connected to Phoenix. <laughs> there's no problem with running it again. Just you can run it again, and it says, oh yeah, I'm still running. So you can always check and make sure that it's running. Hit the back button, and then run whatever program you want to run. Surf wherever you want to surf, <laughs> and uh, the Internet's all yours. Well, anyway, guys, uh, a lot of people ask that question. I do listen to your comments and questions, so please, if you uh, have any more, let me know. We'll talk to you soon. I have an easy setup coming for the Fire Stick, so that'll be coming real soon, as well as a really cool box that has features, three features I've never seen on anything else. Anyway, guys, be sure to like, subscribe, favorite, and we'll talk to you soon.